Hello, all you metal pieces of mayhem. Welcome to Vamped Up Season 2. And I'm going to throw it straight over to Crispy because, boy, do we have someone in store for we you. Do. We've got someone very special tonight, uh, guys, and thanks very much for joining us. So we're going to play you a bit of a video now of Dragon Force's latest song. So we'll be speaking to one of the guys from the band. So we're going to leave it up to you to guess which one it is. This is our Dragon Force's new song, The Last Dragon Born. It's only just come out recently. So that's a brief snippet of Dragon Force's latest song, The Last Dragon Born. And if you guessed it was Herman Lee we would be speaking to tonight, you would be wrong. It's actually Sam Todman, the other half of the guitar duo from the Mighty Dragon Force. Sam, good morning. How are you today? Yeah, not too bad. Got out of bed, especially for you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> I know, mate. This is what not even not even ten a.m. in the morning. Where you are there, mate? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, the things I do actually, uh, and, and top it off, I'm quite hungover as well. So. Um, <laughs> Definitely only one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask what that favour is going to be back, mate, but I can imagine it wouldn't be anything too fun. <laughs> not for me, anyway. <laughs> so just have a look at that film clip, mate. Like, it's, it's a new song, as you mentioned, The Last Dragon Born. So without stating the obvious, it looks pretty fucking cold. Yeah, well, funny enough, it wasn't very cold at all. It was on a green screen, so... <laughs> I didn't think you looked like you were wincing enough. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the thing is, like, essentially, um, we did that, like, two years ago anyway. I mean, that's why we looked a bit more younger and handsome, and that's why. Uh, you know, but it just took that long to get it out. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but I think they were uh, pissing around with the, with the, trying to make us look more handsome or something. I don't know. Jeez, I probably needed a couple more years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's actually happening with Dragon Force at the moment, mate? Like, I know it's Christmas and you're probably taking some well-earned time off, but what's happening in the Dragon Force camp? Um, yeah, just doing an album, the usual routine. Um, yeah, it's a right, we're recording it right now, actually. Um, they, they, they just, I think they're doing the drums over in France somewhere. Um, and then we are usual shit. Like, no one, no one sees each other to make albums anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and have you got, like, a rough time frame on it when you think it'll be out? Um, possibly next, well, next year for sure, I reckon. I mean, well, well it's only 17 days away, isn't it? Next yeah, year. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the time goes so fast. I mean, it's been like, I started writing this one as soon as the corona started, and, and I thought that was like the quickest amount of time between finishing the last album and writing the next one. And now you're all, here you are, it's already two years later than that, so, you know. Um, but yeah, no, it's all, it's all good, yeah. Just, yeah, I think we'll be maybe end of next year it might come out then, but it's, it's honestly pretty up in the air at the moment. Yeah. Couldn't really decide if we what what the plan is, you know, who knows. So. And how about musically? Is it is it what fans would expect from Dragon Force or are you sort of throwing a few curveballs in yeah, there? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it definitely is, yeah, yeah. No, I mean I I'm not one of these people that go on about how oh it's much better than the last one and it's like oh so different and we really tried to outshine ourselves it's the same old shit <laughs> <laughs> which is what people want exactly it's what i want i don't want easy easy to suddenly do a jazz album or something yeah. <laughs> no I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say that it's the same old shit <laughs> it's the same old shit cool and uh, we mentioned earlier on of course you, your partner in crime herman lee you, you play guitar with the dragon force so tell us a bit about playing with him mate. like together you make a, a fantastic duo but you talk to anyone about Dragon Force, and the first thing anyone ever says is Herman Lee. Like, do you feel like Robin to to Batman sometimes? Sort of. I mean, I know what you mean. Like, I mean, and it used to annoy me a bit when we were younger, but now it's like I don't, it doesn't bother me. He's just he's out there more. He's, he's doing more of the promo stuff. Mm. Obviously, there's not that many Asian guys in power metal bands with really long hair, but it, yeah, he's just kind of more noticeable. So, like, I mean, I, I don't care. I mean, I, you know, I'm obviously doing most of the writing, music, and everything. Yeah. He's doing more of the promo stuff, so yeah, he's gonna be more more recognised. And yeah, I mean, when you get to my age, that kind of shit doesn't bother you anymore. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. 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 When you're young, you want to be, I want to be the coolest or like, you know, it's all good. And he is pretty fucking good. You, you've, got to, you've got to give him that. Yeah, well, I know. I know I'm much cooler than him, so. <laughs> <laughs> that goes without saying. <laughs> and what about our touring plans for next year, mate? Has Dragon Force got much much plan? Um, uh, got some festivals probably over in Europe. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad. You can routine now, but, you know, you do the festivals, do a bit of a tour. I, think, I don't think we're going to do any more actual tours until... Until the album's out, which will be uh, probably the end of, end of next year. Yeah. So um, it's, it's kind of quiet. So yeah, you know, we finished the album, and, and time goes by so fast. Anyway, I'll you know, we'll keep busy having to do all the internet stuff and that. So like, people go, yeah, it's not nothing too much. Like, we just finished the Europe tour actually, like a couple of weeks ago. So we've kind of covered that for now. Mm-hmm. And, um, but yeah, no. So, Pretty happy to sit at home and do fuck all too. So. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, like, the, the, the Sam Chapman that everyone knows from seeing you on stage and in film clips and stuff, like, they don't actually, I don't think a lot of people know the true humorous side of your nature. Like, you, you, you've got a pretty out there sort of sense of humor. I'd just like to share with you um, a video that I asked Sam to make for a friend of mine, Jackson Douglas, for his birthday. So, let's, let's have a roll through this and see the other side of Sammy. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hey Jackson, um, your mate Chris is too much of a cheap cunt to buy you a birthday present, so he asked me to say hello to you, so that's what he's resorted to, getting uh, said list celebrities to send out video messages. But anyway, have a good one, man. He said you play the guitar or something, so I guess I'll say something cliche like keep on rocking or whatever, you take your pick, you figure it out. But um, yeah, have a good one, man. Tell Chris he's a wanker. (laughs) <laughs> now i want to start with that last bit first tell chris he's a wanker like what the fuck oh no this is the great you ever you know to get not get too ahead of yourself <laughs> i'm sorry man i was i was stuck in yeah, stuck material <laughs> i gotta say though man in, like in all seriousness that was a very nice thing to do like not many people do that without demanding cash up front so you you are a nice guy oh, right so so you're saying you asked a bunch of more famous people first. And- <laughs> <laughs> well, I worked my way down from A through to Z. And when I got to the Z graders, yeah, that's yeah. when I gave you a call. <laughs> <laughs> so where actually were you when you filmed that, bro? Like, it looks like you're um, somewhere after a fire had swept through it. Oh, I think that was last winter or something, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I was just out in the field. I, I live out like, in the countryside area, and, and uh, I, was just, I think I was going for a bike ride that day, actually. That's my my hobby. I bike around the countryside getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Biking around the countryside getting drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm mean, not like so drunk that I can't see where I'm going. But <laughs> I think mean, I feel like any outdoor activity, if it's like bike riding or mountain climbing or walking, is like quite boring unless you've got food with you. Mm. But if you have got food with you, it's quite fun too. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of other happy snaps here that we want to yeah. show that I want to bring up and talk to you a little bit about. So if we can show the mm. first photo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we've got a photo of um, Sam drinking at the Queen's oh. funeral in England. Tell, tell us about that day, bro. Well, I'm a bit of a fan of the Queen, so yeah. I thought I'd go and pay my respect. And, like I said, anything more fun than food. So Queen's funeral, some cans, and it was a good day out. Hey Sam, did anyone notice you? At while you were there, did they go, oh my god, that's Sam Tottman? No? No, no, I did not. Um, to be honest, like, that's probably only happened to me about 10 times in my entire life. Like, oh, really? I, of doing a band. So, like, I mean, obviously, if you go to like a, maybe a record store or a get a get shop, yeah. but just in the absolute normal public. And she had say less than 10, we about five. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that because no one can ever actually see your face because there's always a can of beer <laughs> up to your lips? Yeah, you could yeah. But yeah, no, actually, the Queen's beer was cool. I, I, I found it to be quite kind of like power metal, like they had this music going dum 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 and they were yeah. marching down the road. And I was like, this is like kind of some sort of, I don't want to like, not Conan, but you know, like a you know, power metal type. Yeah. It was cool. So the, the Queen was cool. Yeah, I like Queen, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit sad she's gone, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got another photo for you. This one is um, 
taken from Brisbane's Eaton's Hill Hotel. There's a guitar hanging on the wall with your signature on it. I mean, last time I sent you a photo of this, you actually didn't remember signing the guitar. Is it, <laughs> have you remembered yet? Nah, not really. I, I do remember we did a, a, a record store signing years and years ago. I did that was It wouldn't be from that, would it? I, I think it is, yeah. Yep. It was definitely from a... I can't see it myself, but it's from a Dragon Force tour. 2015. 2015. 2015. Um, yeah, oh, okay, so Mark would have been seen with us. It's a V, flying V. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't remember doing it. No, all right. It's, it's in Brisbane. If anyone wants to check it out, it's the um, Eaton Hill Hotel anyway. Nice, nice. And the third photo we got, which you can't see, but it's um, a lovely snap you sent me in a restaurant <laughs> giving me the finger. Um, do you remember seeing oh, it? That was just before I um, did that video for your mate, actually, I think. <laughs> it looks like a nice meal. Like, um, I, There's a cup of coffee in front of you, so you obviously had someone with you because that can't be yours. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I think that was like, I think it was like, it was like a farm shop cafe right near my, my place. Right oh, now. nice. That looks good. So where are you actually based, mate? Are you based in the UK? Yeah, yeah. It's like in um, it's a place called Kendall in the Lake District. Right, yeah, it's like... Quite scenic, kind of, you know, mountains and lakes. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's quite cool. Now, I got that old, I always lived in the city in that before, but, you know, the usual, usual way aging rockers go. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. All right, we'll go on to uh, another one of your little projects now. Um, you're in a band called Chop Suey as well, which is a um, System of a Down tribute band, mate. So tell us, tell us a bit about that. Um, yeah, well, it's actually a um, uh, drum tech, Joy's ears. It's, uh, it's kind of his thing, and, and he's been touring with us with Dragonforce for years. And, and he said, um, and it's kind of originally started because uh, he was, I, I, I was on a tour. I was like, oh, I don't want to go home. It's kind of boring about finishing tour and going home. And, um, and he goes, Oh, well, you're going to play in my uh, System of Down covers band. I was like, well, I don't actually like System of Down. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I just thought it was like the excuse to go out and get drunk somewhere new. Like, so, yeah, I learned all these songs that I've like, never listened to in my life. And, um, and funny enough, also, we even toured with System of a Down, the real one, like you. Oh. Know. So if I ever meet any of them, I'm going to tell them that and I'll probably find it fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, it's pretty fun, actually. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just like something different to do, you know, like, I'll probably see sit at home and like do nothing or go and yeah, hang out with some mates and play some songs and yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun actually, I quite enjoy it. Mm. And Chopsu actually came out to Australia a couple of years ago, bro, but you sort of stopped in New Zealand on the way and couldn't be fucked coming over. What what happened there? Oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't know I was there. No, you weren't. Maybe, oh, you know what? I didn't do the Brisbane show because there was some, something happened, I can't remember what. I, I was going to be there. You know, what we, had, <laughs> we, had, we had a uh, Dragon Force tour and um, in Europe and I had to get back for that. Right. And Joyzy, Joyzy had to get back for it too, but we didn't care quite as much if he had <laughs> flight because of the plane. He's only a drum check. <laughs> As I remember I actually interviewed you for that tour. That was the first time I actually met you and then you didn't I picked the band up from the airport and you weren't there. So I don't know if I actually said anything to offend you or if, if I pissed you off, but <laughs> Yeah, no, no, maybe that was why I had to get back and, and not be too tight schedule kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. And has there been any talk of the band coming back to Australia again? Because I know those shows went really well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, that's all, all, all Joyce is kind of, he sorts out all the business stuff. But um, yeah, I think that they're definitely trying to figure something out, for sure. Yeah. So, we good. I, I wish we could do it now. It's probably freezing over here. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's always good. Like, we haven't done, we used to do sound waves, done that a few times and, and whatever else. And, and yeah, it's always nice to, like get out of the winter and get over there, especially if it's free. You know? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and you got a few big shows next year coming up too with Chop Suey, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we've got, uh, oh, to be honest, I haven't really looked at the schedule, but I know George is like, yeah, we got this and that. We're doing a couple over in 
East Europe or something. Charlie, that's March till um, early May from memory. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, right, you know more about me. <laughs> 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 That's it. <laughs> so, yeah. well, along those lines, man, like, what sort of things do you get out of playing in a tribute show that you might not actually get out of playing with Dragon Force? Um, well, you get, like, a lot more birds at the game for a start. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, it's not really something in existence that very poor show, but that do it. I like blokes too. Um, not in that way. Yeah, um, no. Yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of fun just because I, I, I quite, um, I, I, I'm on the playing bass with the System of a Down band and, and their songs are simply anyway, so playing bass is like, it's just nice, I don't think about anything, you know, I can, yeah, just let it like, not give too much of a fuck and, and enjoy it, you know. So, but yeah, it was just nice doing something. I mean, we're, we've been playing Dragon Force shows for like 20 years or something now, so this is the first other band I've played with ever, really, like, in that time. Mm-hmm. You know, so just even just playing some music with some different people, it's still quite, quite fun. So, yeah, no, it's all good. I mean, it's more about, like, for me, it's like, I mean, even with, people always think it's weird, I read interviews with bands and they're like, Oh man, I just lived for that like one hour on the stage and everything else is like a pain in the ass, like traveling and all this stuff. And I'm like, this one hour on the stage is actually my least favorite part. Like, I mean, I like it, but my main thing that I like about playing in a band is, is all the other stuff, like traveling, seeing new places, new mm-hmm. people, and all that. Like, I mean, I, I enjoy the show, but it's not like I actually enjoy all the other stuff no more. Yeah, yeah cool. All right, we're going to run through about four more photos now, which you can't see, but they're all photos of uh, Chop Suey after they've come off stage. They're just you guys standing in front of the crowd, just at various different venues. And, um, okay, this is actually good that you can't see him, mate. Like, what would you say? The, oh, you can't? What, what's the one common denominator between all these photos? Um, I'm looking extremely handsome. And... <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's one. Okay, what's the other common denominator? Um... That uh, might have been a bit under the weather. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've, got, you've got a drink in your hand in every fucking photo. Drink in every hand. What a legend. <laughs> well, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> You're even laying down in one of them having a bit of a kip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, you might be right. All right. Not might be right, mate. We can zoom in if you like. <laughs> well, there's another guy, isn't he? There's another guy with one as well. I'm not the only alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> deflect, deflect, deflect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there's two guys with drinks in that one. Yeah. yeah, but not every photo. I've, I've got another 20 photos I can roll out if you want me to. No. <laughs> Oh, very good. All right. Well, I think Pamela's got a few questions for you, mate. So I'll, I I'll hand you over. I just want to know: Have you got one of your guitars handy, Sam? Um, I do, but it's not plugged in. So no, that's okay. Can we do it? Do you know what, um, any kind of jingles, a Christmas jingle or something? Since it is a few days away from Christmas, do you know how to play a Christmas jingle or anything like that that we can sing along to? And Crispy's going to join in. No. To be honest, I really don't think I do. I'm oh, okay. Well, then you know what? Shred us anything. I just want you to shred. Make one up. I am in the process of writing a Christmas song at the moment. Oh, really? Which is what? Actually, I've been writing it for the last three years, and every Christmas comes out. I'm still not ready yet. So oh. Uh, not this one, but possibly the next one. Next one. Play us what you got so far. Yeah. Then. Can you do that? Uh, not ready yet. Not ready yet. Not ready yet. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay, don't spoil the surprise. But give us, you can't give us any little shred, just a shred. Oh, I don't know, what do you want to hear? Just. Oh, I'm too shy. There we go, no, that's it. No, we got a shred, we got a shred, we got a shred. There you go, you got a deep energy. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Sam, I would like you to say V, sod off. Or sod off V. Sod off V. I yeah. am not actually English today, though. Yeah, no, but I just want you to say it because you sound very British, so I just want to hear the sod off. Because I say sod off a lot, she, don't she, I? I say sod off. She tells me to sod off all the time. I actually say not. sod off. Can, can I say that? <laughs> say, you say it like from childish, sod off. Sod off. Yes, I've just been sodding off my top. <laughs> Where are you going? 
<laughs> hey, you got plans for Christmas, obviously, Sam? Um, to be honest, no. I don't really have any friends. I'm still thinking about them around. I'll call you on Christmas Day, mate. Christmas. I'll call you Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I was, I was pretty much probably going to sit here and do not much at all. Like, mm. my family and all that over New Zealand, so that's too far ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, and, yeah no, probably, oh, yeah. probably just, yeah, chilling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's all good. Mainly I've got Christmas dinner and. Uh, oh, a, beer, a beer and a pie? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm right. Hey, Sam, you would have had a lot of memorable moments on stage. Has there been, like, any crazy moments or have you been ha had any items thrown at you that are really weird on while you were on stage or anything during your whole career? <laughs> well, the weirdest one, which is, <laughs> it's a bit rude, but like, <laughs> it was like, well, this was a long time ago. We were, the same time ever happened and we were, like, playing some gig and, like, and this bird at the front started trying to grab our ball and get from that. And like, and like, you know, that was like a, a bloke doing that to a, a band full of girls. At least would be called me. Oh, yeah, for sure. We were like, we were like, we were like oh, it kind of feels all right, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Is that bird trying to grab your dick? And I was like, yeah, it was all right, actually. <laughs> Has she been back to any shows since? <laughs> that, that shows the difference between hacking blokes and hacking blokes. I love it. I love it. I love hey, it. Before we go any further, mate, um, I forgot to remind you, but did you did you bring us anything for the bar or anything for our charity basket? Um, I remember that I was supposed to. I've got some t-shirts, but I don't know where I put them, but that's, yeah, I did tell you I'd go to our stories. To go to That'd my, be cool. I've got, I've got a few t-shirts, which, funny enough, um, I don't know what size they are or anything, but that would be like the, the minimum I could do. But if not, I could go back to storage and look something more interesting. Sweet. Well, when, when you come up with something, bro, no hurry, but we're going to have a bar set up in the future. We're going to have a, a charity basket set up, like probably every four or five months. We're going to donate it all to charity yeah. or sell it off for charity. So anything you can send over would be That'd much be appreciated. Great. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'll, actually, I, know what I could probably find like a. Um, We've got a bunch of like old backdrop type stuff. Oh wow! Like there's some like that are huge that I'm trying to like blog off on to some to sell a few of them because they're like massive. But I've got some like smaller ones that that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be awesome. The walls of yeah. I was around, but that would probably be cool. Yeah. Cool. And I'm also starting up a um a collection of guitar picks for my two daughters. So if you can send us over a guitar pick and and one for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one for me. Fantastic. Have you got anything else for the band? Yeah, I was just gonna say, give um. Well, all the Aussie viewers down here would love a few words, especially some Christmas wishes or something to your loyal fans down under. A few words from you, Sam. Oh, that time at the end when I've never been able to say to them. <laughs> I always say, well, thanks for, thanks for liking us, I guess. Um, we'll hopefully be there again one day. Don't know when, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, mate. Oh uh, yeah, no, that's, that's all I would say. Merry Christmas, all that stuff, yeah. maybe? <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, thanks for like providing me a way to yeah. like, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, very good. Love it. Right. And uh, maybe, maybe we might be seeing you on the cruise, maybe. Well, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> but that is to be, to be continued. To be continued, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely hope that will happen. Yeah, that'd yeah. be awesome. All right, Sam. Well, thanks very much for your time today, mate. I know you got up damn early for this, so Thank much you. appreciated, brother. Merry Christmas and to nice you. And nice to meet you, Sam. Yeah, you too, yeah. And we'll talk right. to you in the near future, my friend. See you all over there at some point. Oh, well. Take care. Love and blood and where are